Welcome to Moodle at Berkshire Community College. Moodle is our learning management system, which means that it's your online classroom space. Nearly every course at BCC has a Moodle site associated with it, so it's likely that you'll be spending a lot of time here in Moodle, especially if you're taking online or hybrid courses. And I want to make sure that you feel confident in the basics of navigating Moodle and then also show you some examples of the different ways your Moodle courses might look. Because every professor makes different choices about the design of their Moodle site, so everything will look a little bit different depending on the course that you're enrolled in. Over here, uh, this left-hand menu, this will be the same no matter what course you're in in Moodle, this left-hand navigation menu. Clicking on the name of your course right up here at the top will always bring you back to the main course page. Participants will show you who else is enrolled in the class as well as your instructor, and clicking on grades will show you the gradebook so you can be checking in on your grades and your feedback. Then you'll be able to access the different uh, sections of the course that are currently available to you and can navigate through them uh, either here, right here in the center of your page, or over here on the left hand side. So if I want to go to the academic honesty section, I can click there and that section will open up for me. And then of course I can also click into a section uh, right here in the center of the page. Um, so some other things that I want to point out to you in this left hand menu, uh, if you click on home or dashboard, those will bring you and you'll see all of the Moodle courses you're enrolled in. So that's a really easy way to navigate between courses or to make it even easier, you'll see the different courses that you're enrolled in in Moodle right here under my courses. Last thing I'll point out to you here is that clicking on this button up here, you'll see closes or uh, collapses this left hand menu. So that can be a good strategy if you would rather have uh, this space on the page here for the course content uh, enlarged, but just remember to click it again to open it back up so that you don't get lost in the site and you can navigate to where you want to go. Up here at the top of the page you'll see the name of your course and you'll also see that you can uh, navigate through the course. So right now I'm in section four, the academic honesty section is open, but clicking back on the name of the course will always bring me uh, back to the main course content. Every course will have a banner image and many will have a unique banner image. Um, and then over here on the right hand side of the page, we call these blocks in Moodle. And you'll see that this uh, site has a calendar block. Most course pages will also have a quick mail block and then sometimes your professor will create blocks that are unique to the course. And blocks will stay no matter what section of the course you navigate to, the blocks will stay here on the right hand side of the page. Finally, I'll point out to you that here uh, in the top bar at the very top of your screen, you'll see these drop down menus um, where we have put links to key resources that we know that you need as a BCC student. So for example, um, if you need to reach online help or you want a direct link to the library or the writing center, you can get there by using these top level menus and that will link out usually to the BCC website. Um, when you want to change your profile or look at any of your user settings, you can do so over here uh, in your user menu. So that's what I want to show you in terms of basic Moodle navigation. And now I'm going to show you some quick examples of the different ways your Moodle courses might look. The course that we've been looking at here is using the tiles format. And you'll see that there are little icons and the name of a section. And then of course, clicking into the section will show you the content within. And that's where you'll access things like discussion forums, course readings, download files, and of course, submitting assignments and taking quizzes and exams. This Moodle course is an example um, of one where you're scrolling down the page and you can see that there are different sections because they have the um, large titles and then content is indented underneath. But you also notice that you are um, scrolling down the page to access the different sections of the course. But it's all right there on that one main page. In this course, you'll see that the professor has um, different sections of the course available that also have titles and unique images associated with them. And clicking on one of those sections will open it up in this um, overlay in your browser and you can then click into the areas uh, and the resources that you need to get to. 
This course is an example of one that is using the Collapse Topics format. So you'll see that the sections of the course are all available here and they have this little arrow icon where you can click to toggle that open or closed. So you can do that for individual sections. Um, you can also click open all to open all of the sections of the course so that they'll all be available to you right there on the page. And then of course you can also close all. And finally, if we look at this course, um, you'll see that we can. Uh, this professor is organizing the course by weeks. Um, of course, remember that you can always use the sidebar navigation to go between sections that are available to you. Um, and then we have this yellow button to view section modules. So we can click on that and that will open up that section for us. Um, so that's how we would be clicking in to the different weeks of the course. So you'll see um, from that quick demo that there are different ways your course could look, but there's also a lot of similarities. And again, no matter what, you'll always see this left hand menu, so long as you remember to keep that open, your right hand blocks, and then this top section of the course. So you'll always be looking here on, in the middle of your page for your course content. So best of luck to you as you start navigating Moodle and in your online and hybrid courses. If you ever need any help, you can always email us at onlinehelp at berkshirecc.edu.